What is good? We're back. We have a super flex tight end premium startup mock draft ADP review for the most part. Oof. That, Ooh, that, that, a splash. that was a mess. Might need some new electronics after that. Keyboards wet. Yeah. Happy These Thanksgiving. These are rock star mics. They can handle it. Appreciate you guys for joining us. I'm sure you're traveling somewhere. Safe travels. If not, hope uh, lucky you. Hope everybody has a nice Thanksgiving. All right. We're going to review this thing. We're going to check it out. These are two drafts over the last two weeks-ish combined here to just get a general idea of where everybody's lying right now, value-wise, who's moving up, who's moving down. We're, we'll call this moves to make. Uh, but you didn't it, you invite know. me in the draft. You didn't want me to suck up all the good players? You, see, it goes into the Discord. <laughs> I think you're in there. I am in there. All right. Mm. Not enough. Not enough. Not enough. Well, if you've ever drafted with Big Co, he is going to suck every ounce of time <laughs> out of that mock draft. And real draft. The real draft, I don't have a problem with it. The mock draft, if, you know, let's, let's speed it up. You got, you got two hours. I, I want you to take your time. But every time, that's when it's a bit of I'll a put that. <laughs> I'll, I'll build a queue and put it on auto pick. Yeah. So... We're going to go through this, take a peek at it, and then maybe we'll give you another little buy low show at the end. Some 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 guys that we like the value on, but we're going to generally Insane. go through here and see kind of who we're higher and lower on, who's moved around. And like I said, this is just a good exercise to get a general conversation rolling on where we're at right this minute. And like I said, these have been in the last two weeks. It's super flex tight end premium 1.5 for uh, tight end catches here. So to start it off, you got Josh Allen 101, Lamar 102. Jaden Daniels, 103. Joe Burrow, back up in the top four. Jamar Chase, 105. Jalen Hurts, 106. Uh, Justin Jefferson, 107. St. Brown, 108. Mm. Patrick Mahomes, all-time low. Steal. 109. Yeah, in your <laughs> bra. Um, CJ Stroud, <laughs> 110. Uh, we'll come back to that. Uh, CD Lamb, 111. Jordan Love, 112. Should I, you want me to go into the second round here or should we pause? That's a fun first round. Big, yes. Big problem. <laughs> big problem with anything. Patrick Mahomes. No, I mean, I don't have a huge problem with that. Patrick Mahomes will be on the buy low show. He could, yeah, he should be on the buy low show. I mean, he did have a decent week, but I think it was 20 straight week weeks or something like that where he wasn't top 12 QB points. I mean, it's, you know, it's more than a season. Mm -hmm. So sound the alarms. It's, you know, if he's the safest quarterback as far as we think he's going to be out there playing for seven or eight more years. And, you know, he's not scoring the fantasy points. So no. Obviously, this guys is for fantasy hurt. points, but he's not scoring the fantasy points. So yeah, that's why he's after stealing. a while, you know, for he didn't score any fantasy points last year, and he was the 102 behind Josh Allen. And then you get halfway through this season, and people are kind of tired of it. Yeah, they're I mean, so why, mad. That's why you're you, always good as your last three games. That's why you pop on it, and uh, you know, be excited that at 109 you have access to Patrick Mahomes because that was, you know, that mm -hmm. was that was that could be. And as soon as a year, a huge cheat code that you just got for for free. And, and most likely there's going to be another long patch of Patrick Mahomes. That's annoyingly fucking good. Probably. Right. No, yeah. It's really not even a probably. I don't think it's almost mm -hmm. a, as good as a guarantee. The guy he's too. He's safe as hell. He's too good. Rashi will be back. I think Hollywood comes back. They'll find something else. They'll, they'll, they'll be he'll be back. They're, they already they shot did a lot. It. They did. A, they shot a lot of shots and they, they all got hurt. You they know what did, I mean? Like, they, they, it's not they, like they weren't trying to get my man some weapons. They traded up for Worthy. And this is just a Pacheco's down. It's yep. just a little blip. It's just a little Christmas present. Hey, Patrick Mahomes is obtainable. Yeah. Stop. It's nice. Complaining about him. Jamar Chase, 105. We're, we're back up to the tippy, tippy top. You know, that's how quick things turn around, right? Mm -hmm. People were questioning whether Chase was still elite. And. We're back to seeing all-star Jamar Chase. All-star. I mean, before the season started, we did some rankings, and I was like, I might take St. Brown over Chase because St. Brown is so consistent, which St. Brown has been ridiculously consistent. Not a great game this week. Uh, just, you know, Jared Goff didn't do anything. Running backs did it all. But Chase has just been the, the blow-up games have been more. You know, the quantity of blow-ups this year have been ridiculous, and uh, that's, that's what you get with Jamar Chase. 
49 points. That'll do it. Yeah, that'll do it. All right, so how do we feel about C.J. Stroud being in the, the – is he falling out of the first round anytime soon for you? How is he only falling as far as Patrick Mahomes has fallen? You know, like that's – Yeah, he's been, he's been bad, you know, as far as fantasies goes. And his – Nico got hurt, and they are just haven't been clicking. Diggs got hurt. Diggs went out. And just Offensive line struggled. Hasn't been clicking. Mixing. Doing well, his c- concern about Stroud? Should you Dynasty wise, I'm not concerned at all. I think and I think he's got a perfect head to deal with uh, the uh, adversity. I think he's got a great coach to deal with adversity. I mean, there's what they're seven and five or something like that. As a team, like they're yeah, they're not good, but I, I think Dan Patrick was talking about good to the, the worst good teams and the best worst teams yeah, in the feel, last two it days. It feels like they're stuff. gonna be a, a, a first round exit. Probably, but they could also. They're also a team that you could get it together they could and go and, on a run, and they could go on a run. Uh, they have some parts and pieces on defense, and CJ's got AFC's it. gonna be tough. CJ's always, got but. it in them. Bad division, though. Yeah, exactly. They should get a home playoff game, right? right. You know, that's that's one. I mean, I, I think you know, he needs to finish strong. They'll probably retool. Uh, you know, whether Dig Diggs was on a one year deal anyway, and he blew his knee, so they'll probably retool, come back. Herbert for Stroud, straight up. Yeah, I don't hate it. I mean, Herbert's obviously five or six blocks below him on in the draft here, but you can't go wrong with either one of those guys. I'm happy to have either one of them. Here's a Herbert in a first for Stroud. Yeah, I'll take Herbert. Yeah, in a first. well, I mean, we can, we'll go move down here a little bit through the second round. We got Bijan two one, Kyler two two, Neighbors two three, Herbert two four, Caleb Williams two five. So Caleb out of the first round. Gibbs second running back off the board two six, Marvin Harrison two seven. Brock Parity, 2-8. Brock Bowers, 209. Puka, 210. Brees, 211. And Nico, 212. There's Justin Herbert. I yep. think I think I'm I've always been a big Herbert guy. So just to get some confidence back, see him running around a little bit, scored scored one on the ground tonight. I'm, we're obviously not watching the game currently, so I don't know what else he did, but I did right. see him score. Just if he gets the legs back moving where you saw early in there, where it's just doesn't need to be crazy stuff, just 30, 40 yards a game and a rushing touchdown here or there. Yeah, here's the thing about this. I mean, like you said, this this uh, ADP was done within the last two weeks. Last week we had, what was it Monday night, had the big Bengals. Right, so uh, anytime you get a Monday night game, a Thursday night game, the island game as they call it, anytime you're that solo game when everybody's watching it, you don't have six TVs set up and you can't hear anything like that was what they were talking about. The whole game was Justin Herbert love. You know, that's all you could get from the uh, broadcasters was how awesome Justin Herbert was. And then, then of course, he makes a makes a couple of good solid runs. And then they're like, see, this is what happens when a quarterback is absolutely seeing the field. As soon as if that's how you know he's seeing it that fast because he was able to say, bang, all right, I got this open space. And he took off with no hesitation. When Those are types. And two lasers to win the game. Exactly. Like if you if you redid this draft right now, I guarantee you Herbert's at least back into the first round. Like he's, just, you know, because. And Stroud has continued to not be when you excellent. Get a, exactly. When you get a primetime game like that and somebody shows up or doesn't show up, one or the other, it, it affects people. It affects their values. The old stock market. Yeah, I mean, if you can, you know, this is this would obviously tell you. I don't know if that you could get a first to go up to Stroud right this minute from Herbert, but this is, you know, like, like well, the were, one trade that, that I know he was. That's what I'm saying. He out. was show yeah. he was showing it to you, mm-hmm. and and this the difference in ADP right here. Probably that wouldn't be quite what that would be worth if you were really in there potentially, but right it could be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, then Caleb right below him, neighbors is is right there. Neighbors is obviously not been on that crazy neighbors trajectory, but still. A good player, and and I think everybody feels pretty safe about Malik Neighbors at the moment. Yeah, I mean, Donis is a great player, and I feel great about him. I just right the second they has got Devito throwing him the ball, and right. it wasn't great at times with Daniel Jones. It's not going to be any better with Devito. You know, he's not. Uh, we he's see not it. the quietest uh, of human beings when things aren't going well either, which isn't you know isn't no. my favorite look. But he's a receiver, so I give him a pass. True, true. Um, so Caleb. Herbert right next to each other. Uh, I think. <laughs> but he's a receiver, so I can't. <laughs> Gotta be a diva, or you're not good. Uh, Basically, well, uh, Nico's not a diva. Puka's Keep going. Great. Keep moving. Puka's a beast. Marv's great. Hey guys, a quick reminder to head over to patreon.com slash the FF Dynasty to sign up for a free membership to get access to the free Discord channel. Or hit your boys with the $5 holler and get access to extra shows, mock drafts, roster reviews, ADP, and player pages. All for your pleasure. Puka 
Never mind. Well, I'm, we're about to talk about Puka. Okay. Brock Purdy, 208. That might be a little rich for my blood. That's a, that's a tad rich. I don't know if you can get anybody. Except two people sitting beside each other has been talking about Brock Purdy's dynasty value and then come up and say, okay, that's a little bit rich. Yeah. I, obviously, the legs have been you know working for Brock this year we've been we've been middle of the third end of the third brock purdy's an absolute steal for your super flex dynasty team you get two good players two good position players then you come back and you get brock as your first quarterback potentially that's your solid start but you can put him in the middle of the second round and you get like blue chippers behind him brock bowers behind him puka behind him nico at this point behind him i'm not i can't do that i got there's a couple of these guys i gotta have over before i take purdy there's probably a little bit of inflated value there because of the quarterbacks remaining, right? Uh, it's some of these drafts, you know, if quarterbacks go on a run, mm -hmm. it's just two drafts too. So it, it is a this little is high, but we're in terms of like that being QB 12 all day. Right. Well, there's, see what I mean? Yeah. There's a ton of quarterbacks going already is what you're trying right. to say. And there's, and there's well, not and, many. And, yeah. It gets thin quick. Well, you also have two, a Jared, of course, Lawrence, there's Anthony Richardson stack, in there. So, uh, not people that people hate her, quarterbacks not playing what like not yeah, uh, golf's playing round, just fine but he's not light he's like he's not lighting it up every week he doesn't need to like well he, he was on a three-game pace he, but you're he right puts, he puts some cra he's put some really great games together and he's been good all season pretty mm -hmm. outside of one or two games fantasy output every week is not you know yeah. crazy high just because of what they how they operate uh, so you're missing like four guys that would usually be pushed up in there uh, and now Drake May and Bo Nix are certainly on their way up there and, and we can talk about that in a second but I did want to talk about Puka wide receiver seven here are you taking Puka over any of these guys above him I, I don't know man I, I feel like I don't know if there's I feel so safe with Puka Nakua as mm -hmm. my second round draft pick yeah exactly are you taking Puka over Caleb Williams Justin Herbert no, and Superflex not. you know Kyler then what Malik neighbors that's the point that's why when you said should we go to the second round I was like wow that's a fun first round I remember saying it before the season started it's like you can't go wrong in the first round at worst if you took Marvin Harrison and you fell to the middle of the end of the second round because he's a you know and a I baby might you know Puka over Kyler I, I wouldn't I, I can't fault you there no I get it I, that's that's the beauty of this there's so much talent out there right now that's the beauty of trading down early in your in your draft and still finding Pukas and Nico Collins and Brock Bowers in the second round. Stock up, baby. Has Drake May or Bo Nix surpassed Purdy? I think you and I were both on, at least with the May thing, I'd rather have May than Purdy. I was, I was, I, you know, man, wasn't able to make that call last week, last time, have was a couple we, weeks ago. How are you feeling now? Yeah, he's out there running around. He's out there, what do you have, 70 yards a couple weeks ago? I could I could see it. It's, Purdy's still so safe. Obviously, the wheels are falling off. He wasn't yeah, there well, last week. It is what it for is for the Niners. Right now, with he them. didn't do anything last week. How could he, he got be zero either? points? Yeah, I could definitely be talked into Drake May coming up there. All right, let me let me hit this third round real quick. Garrett Wilson leads off the third. Drake London three two. Drake May three four. Christian McCaffrey three four. Wolf uh, three <laughs> five. AJ Brown. Trey McBride three six. Bo Nix three seven. Saquon. 308 Brian Thomas Jr. 309 HN 310 Kyron 311 Chris Olave 312 and then Baker Mayfield coming in there at 401 Bo Nix or Purdy mm, Purdy. Purdy Bo Nix's legs are are helping he's he's done nothing wrong he's literally done That's nothing wrong neither is Purdy last month yeah Jay Purdy doesn't run for 70 yards, man. <laughs> He's been running. He he ain't running for 70 yards. Bo Nix runs for 70 yards. Drake May runs for 70 yards. Well, hey, there's a safety Purdy net, and then there's a, a, there's a safety net. And weapons and shit. And then there's a, there's a upside. Elite, fucking Elite yeah. winning upside. GM. May and Nix don't yet have that and are, are, you know, looking like they could do it. So I'd probably have them in the same tier right now, but I'm probably drafting Drake May over Brock Purdy. I mean, we got... 40, 56. Well, we should. I mean, that's the whole 44. If you take away his best games, it's not that good, but <laughs> take away his least. Thank you, games. Jason. Uh, back to the show here. <laughs> Talk about um, Purdy rushing. Like, it's not the worst. It's not 70. Oh, but I've, we, I've, he's using the wheels. We we noted that he's using the wheels. I, I like it. I'm, I'm just saying, like, 
we can't just staunchly not have a discussion about like like Drake May's not even close to a category of where Brock Purdy can be because I'd I'd rather have him. I just I think where where we can go on a weekly upside with Drake May is higher than Brock Purdy can take us on a week to week basis. The beauty of it is kudos to Purdy to have worked himself right. into this conversation well, because he's he's safe and he's he's been yeah, the fantastic situation. and great. It's like the complete opposite offensive situation. And we're going to need some we're going to need some retooling by the Niners this off season too. Yeah, so Done I'm deal. I'm I'm safely same tier and then I'm definitely taking May. I'm probably not quite there yet on Knicks even though Knicks is probably putting up better fantasy points and it's not, you know. Oh, he definitely is. It's not just what what we're saying of of what the the outcome is on scoring points. It's known that Brock Purdy's safe and I like Brock Purdy a lot. I've been a consummate supporter Number of, one, the of first, Brock Purdy, right? The first supporter of Brock Purdy. I just when you're going to do something like May and the, and the way he looks and how he's managing a shitty team and a shitty offense and the legs look the part, the value like Brock Purdy's been be, he was QB six last year. He's been really good, and we're still we still aren't getting that movement uh, mm-hmm. up uh, in trajectory of value. And Drake I mean, May is just just keeps movement. Well, I, th- I feel like, I mean at two eight Brock Purdy here, bro. He it feels maxed out. Like at two eight, that feels pretty solid. Mm-hmm. Drake May, if he was to Drake May can finish solid. It's hard to, could s- to see a really solid finish with the tools he has to work with. And now there's you know ultimate questions about the coaching hire yeah. you know that thing's a, a situation oh man patriots might have screwed up big time with that we shall see um christian mccaffrey at 304 that's egregious to me you can't you can't be doing that right there that's too high way too high way if you too don't high. know what he's trying to say way that's, too high right now <laughs> you're so there's so much risk right now with that pick mm-hmm. where i can't pull that trigger when i can go get saquon barkley a few picks later we're at the same area if i want that desired effect of yeah. of kind of what CMC can give you and and hasn't been sitting out for ten weeks with double Achilles tendonitis. <laughs> Agreed. You know, and then A Chan's got to be up in there. This is maybe a little high for Brian Thomas for me. I don't hate it. I don't mind it. I I think when you're running through the choices of options at that point and you're looking at receivers, you know, you're you're looking around going, who can I take here that could make an impact and and you know again rise in value and. Brian Thomas has got to be up there. It just seems seems a little high for me. I, th- I mean, it's an upside pick. Obviously, you, there's a couple players right here behind him that you could easily pick and put him in your lineup. I mean, right now he's got Mac Jones throwing to him, you know, and he was a little nicked up there. But for three or four weeks, when he was healthy and Trevor was balling out, like Brian Thomas was the thing. Yeah, he's wide no, receiver I, nine. I don't I don't have like a whole lot of questions of whether he's potentially really worthy of this at all. I think it's just the complete upside driving him up there you know i think right now everybody's tired of chris chris Olave and zay flowers is never going to get that number one type love that he could really deserves his body type doesn't give it to you even though he's no smaller than i mean i guess he's a little saint brown gets his bigger than he give than he gets credit for you know what i mean i mm-hmm. just felt like like brian thomas just like that number one alpha he, he is a wide receiver, wide, receiver. One. He's wide receiver nine right now yeah, and I that's mean a, that's, that's a hit rate if you're doing analytics. One season of a top twenty four finish, you hit, nailed it. He's hit, he's hit well. His first season, he must be good. You know, I mean, I, those couple couple names right behind him are big time. You know, Flowers, Pickens, Adunze, Avery Rice, Crystal Lobby's right there. But you go down a little bit farther, and you're like, all right, we're kind of tired of some of these names, and or they're young still and haven't done as much. Like Brian Thomas was for a month there, like weeks three through seven or something. He was. Oh sure, I was, he was it. It's not certainly not any hate on Brian Thomas. I just right. still, one, you still one. got a twenty twenty one year old receipt. What what does that say over there, Jace? Twenty two years old. You know, you got a twenty two year old player. They're gonna get the nod in the dynasty startups yeah. every time. Yeah. Rashi Rice or Brian Thomas? I'll take Rashi Rice. There you go. That's a that's a big big pick right there. I I want that. I mean there's a Make full round there. These moves. Yeah, I mean he's obviously injured. And obviously you know, yes. is he yes. Yes. He's, he's not playing. and did you know he's gonna be suspended for like the rest of his career yeah so i mean 407 to 309 i think that's a little high for brian thomas i think they should probably be a little closer to each other you know i don't i don't necessarily like zay flowers or george pickens or brian thomas right i don't feel some type of way about either any of those guys so this is a great exercise just to, when you put rasheed rice in here at pick 407 when you go back it's been you know, 
a handful of weeks now since he got hurt. And we had that discussion. We came on here five, six weeks ago, and we said, all right, this is, the, this is what's circulating in the banter of the dynasty community. It, you know, a lot of people are saying, if, you know, Rasheed Rice, sell him now, Rasheed, any first, that kind of stuff. In a super it flex is. startup draft, the pick 4-7 is worth way more than a first round, regular, just a random first round pick. So he still he hasn't played in a month. He's not as fresh on people's minds as he was just dominating with Patrick Mahomes in his second year. PPR monster. And here he is sitting at 4-7 in the middle of the season with everybody else is playing, and we've long forgotten about how awesome he is. You know? Mm-hmm. Like, there's no chance that this pick right here isn't worth way more than a random first next year. So, that's why, you're, probably idiots. that's why you're tuning in, boys and girls. Yeah, I like it. Keep um, it going. <clears throat> Laporta falling down here into the fours. He's at 408. I'm not going to keep reading every single round here. We've. I just wanted to get you the names in the top. Well, not all of them, but this is good yeah. right here. You know, first couple uh, rounds here. Ro- Roma Dunze in the four, 404. Fine with that. Rashi Rice, 407. Zay Flowers getting some respect yeah. on his name here at, at 402. JT, 405. Kenneth Walker, 406. So some fourth-round running backs for your pleasure right there. And obviously, the new crop of rookies isn't in here, so... I've, yeah, it'll all you know get mm-hmm. mashed around and pushed around, and and you know the values will change, and there'll be more guys that really catch your eye here. Devonta Smith at four eleven, Sam Laporta at four oh eight, still tight end three. You pulling the trigger on Sam Laporta in round four? Mm. <laughs> well, you know, I don't. I, Were we getting concerned that there's not like because of the way that they're operating and how they can just shut it down almost for a game and ride these running backs and then you know jmo gets a long one or amon ross st brown yeah. just dominates the targets i don't think laporta has been right all season i think he came in hurt <laughs> i've seen him carted off once or twice already yeah yeah he's um, ob- he obviously is, is a gamer and will play hurt you know i i mean obviously a round later uh for my money i, I would start hoggison each and every week over laporta it's not even close but I mean, dynasty. The kid's like twenty three years old. You know, yeah. I, I understand it. It's hard when I pull that trigger, and, and that again, it comes every time. When I'm gonna get on the clock, and we're talking about this, this is an equity. As soon as you hit click draft, you know, boom, that four oh eight, your pick is gone. I'll be trying to move and shake around. I don't have a problem with Sam Laporta. I, I'd love to see his name on my roster, but right the second, it's a fallen knife because of the system. Like you said, they have no intentions to giving this man eight targets every week. Mm-hmm. Um, and I mean, they, I think he was second or tied with highest in the team. I think he had six, and maybe Amon Ross St. Brown had six or something. But like, so that it's there sometimes. I just don't think he's a huge part of the game plan, you know. Well, like you said, he, may, the, he, he, has, he has been banged up a ton, but they also, as long as they got, I mean, in game script too, like that's they're, what I'm, yeah. they're 10 and one. That's right? mainly, so mainly the concern, the, I guess, right? It's not currently. even the system, you know, Ben Johnson's going to leave next year and get a boatload of money how the bears don't give give this give him whatever he wants whatever the system's going to be next year we're not quite sure but as long as they're winning and they're winning by a margin and they've they're covering spreads like a machine right so they don't they don't have to pass Mm -hmm. Uh, obviously jared golf yeah he threw for four touchdown passes two weeks ago this week like you said no touchdown passes this week montgomery goes out gibbs stays in and gets his 20 carries for 85 yards and two touchdowns they got two stud running backs they got the stud offensive line and then they do have stud, a couple of stud receivers as well. The volume is not there. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm I'm slightly concerned. I good. We know he's a good player, so you can bet on it. He's for, a know, great buy low and down. Right. I mean, at this this time, a couple, you know, two months ago, he was what a, a second round pick, late second, early late second, tight end premium pick. So here he goes, a late fourth. You know, he's dropped off twenty four picks. Gonna probably continue to fall off. Exactly, because here I am thinking here at 408, he's still a good-looking – it's a good dynasty name, but I'm like, oh, well, I could get Hawkinson later. Handsome value, lad. You know? All right, uh, we got Jared Goff, Trevor Lawrence, Anthony Richardson, Dak Prescott. Oh, no, Dak was a fifth-round quarterback. Those are all fourth-round quarterbacks, Goff, Lawrence, uh, Richardson, then Dak is in the fifth round. And then two at 509 here, starting to be a decent value for me there. Look, oh, he's a great value there. I'm not taking him. I did in one of these mocks. I didn't end up taking him just because I do. I think it was sixth round or so where he fell into, and it was like that was my second quarterback at at that point. Mm-hmm. I believe I didn't feel all that bad about it. You come back later and get somebody like a Sammy D. 
yeah, you know, you might be all right. Mm-hmm. And and we'll talk about some, some some of the good values here down a little lower uh, in a little bit here. JSN. 505 so he's he's up on the move probably if you drafted again today he'd be even higher right because yep. now we've had you know you take away his best game you give him take away his worst game <laughs> that's who he is well it's not well uh, but the, you can't you can take away a best game and they keep stacking up yeah yeah we don't know who he is that's the that was that was my whole thing he's pretty we don't know good. who he is yet seems like he might be all right he seems yeah. pretty good um you know now he could go on a three game skid where he doesn't but i you've seen i'm, I'm you've seeing him take over games where it's Hey, when we need something, it's going to JSN. Right. And it's been a few weeks in a row now. And that's mm-hmm. what we're seeing. It's called, it's, you, you think he's growing? I think he's growth. I think, I think Can players evolve? Are you better? Yeah. Well, I mean, once you have the first year of data, and then you're, you know, you're all set. <laughs> um, and then we'll just, when they're wrong, just you're move, only as good as your last just move games. the goalposts. Be like, well, no, this is, it was this, you know, that, that was, this, that was last year's data. This mm. is, we'll move these right over here. All right. Anyway. TJ Hawkinson still good, five oh six. Dalton Kincaid five oh eight. Like I said, so you're out on Tua, just out, out, just too much risk. Way too much risk. Okay. I mean, it. You go through the you go through the draft, and then you pick up. You could trade for Tua later for way cheaper than it costs to draft him at five nine. Let's say he was there at six oh five. What's six oh five? Look at let's see, look at this group of players right here, and then we're just using the ADP as the draft board right Brooks, now. Brooks Pacheco. Uh, let's, Bro- let's say Brooks just went off the board. Mm-hmm. You're sitting here at 6.05. You got Pacheco, Mixon, ETN, DJ Moore, Derrick Henry, Terry McLaurin, Tank Dell, Bucky Irving, J.J. McCarthy, Alvin Kamara. Does it sound any more enticing to you now at that point? No. No? What? Mm. I see. That's what makes it a little more enticing for me. I like out of that list of names, I'll take the risk on that quarterback who can drop forty. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, Besides I Travis E. D. and Go Tigers. I mean, well, sure. He's I don't know. I skipped him kind of. <laughs> He's on the next. He we got him on the next list. I'd rather have JJ McCarthy. Woo! All right, all right, mm-hmm. all right, all right. <laughs> all right, all Woo. right, all right. I'll take the Vikings quarterback for for two hundred, Alex. All right, fair enough. It might be Aaron Rodgers next year. <laughs> it, it won't. Be. I promise you, Kevin O'Connell will not have that sh- that show coming. Uh, up. I'll take Kevin O'Connell's quarterback. Uh, Kevin over. O'Connell and Rodgers are probably the same age. They probably know each other. Probably love each other. <laughs> they might, yeah, but he wouldn't love him to be quarterback in his team. I guarantee uh, you, he won't put up with that. We'll see. We shall see. So that's all right. Out, out on Tua. All right. Let's well, see I was—I mean, it was working for me so far because last year coming, this year coming in, he was a third rounder, and I was out, out, and I get down to. Five nine and Casey just backed him up to six five and I'm like, eh. that's because I'm pretty you know like I said I'm pretty this is an that's obviously an average so he might have went in a almost positive he was around in the sixth round and in, in one of the, in the last mock we did and I was like huh mm-hmm. let's see so let's see where was two up. there's five five and this one six one six one I am CM then you get a third Gino Sam Darnold some other okay third you're just no i mean I'd, no convincing i'll on take mccarthy two. put him on my team okay. and wait for him to be kevin's guy all right fair enough and throw into jefferson and hawkinson and right, addison what, what do we think about bucky irving being at 612 here where is he at he's he at 612 yeah he's you you driving down the road you look in the rear mirror there's bucky he's he coming. coming he's on the way he's coming he is so coming. They can't put that thing back in the bottle. Mm-mm. I'm like, well, we guess we got to keep giving it to this guy. No, and they got and they did it early in the game too. And they were hitting him. Or they were throwing it to him they, early. Six, six for six. Yeah, targets for right away. Right away, it's rolling now. Obviously, this is Mike Evans' first game back. Godwin's not there, but like it, it like you said, he can't once once they get an opportunity to show this skill set. You know, Rashad White's on the way down. Bucky Irvin's on the way up. And Rashad White is an excellent receiving running back. Bucky Irving is so much better at playing the position of running back than Rashad White is as far as getting yards running the football. Mm -hmm. Uh, He's just he's which therefore opens up that pass game for him because they still could say, hey, this guy. Well, and they should be putting they should have both of those guys on the field. Yeah, they should be playing it like I don't know if they are, but the the Washington uh, yeah. was playing their running backs together for the pony like, package. I believe the, they were. Called. Oh, they were pony pack. They, <laughs> basically, they said, "Hey, this guy, um, dang it, what's that one running back's name?" Eckler. Eckler. They're like, "This is our, this is our second best receiver." Yeah, we oh. got to have him on. The, they got to have him on the field. Yeah, yeah. Well, you got Godwin down. You don't. How much longer is Evans going to be around? And then Godwin's a free agent, so there's some. We don't know exactly what's going to play out next year in in Tampa. So would you? This is the opposite of a pine pony. Would you? Would you buy Bucky Irving for a first? 
getting close. What's the max out on Bucky Irving to sell for or to buy for here? Is it a first? Because it doesn't. It seems like at this point, two twos isn't going to get two twos ain't getting. Him I don't off think my it's team. getting it done. Your late first ain't getting him off my team either. Okay, I'm not sell. I'm not selling him for a late first. I don't want to. Josh I'd, Downs. That's a good. That's a good heads up trade right there. That's a, that's a tough one. To get. It's hard. It's hard to Laddie. get away that young on the way up stud running back that can catch two. Mm-hmm. Lad McConkey. I'm definitely taking Bucky over Lad, and I like Lad a lot. It's but just because there's there's. 20 good receivers like that. We we got I mean I was looking I mean just the running backs run out and that was that's been the same well, problem this is, but you know you're uh, the the whole deal with 25 is that you you might you might actually get like six running backs that can play in the 25 class. Coming in this year like Saquon Barkley was 412 51 p mm-hmm. and you're like I'm in on Saquon Barkley's ADP and I was like I'm not ready to I can't take that like, I don't want to I don't want to put my Equity in to an aging running back at 412 right there. He's maybe the MVP of the league, and he's, you know, absolutely crushing it. He's an RB5, but he doesn't show up till 3-8, mm-hmm. which is, even in my standards right now, that's a little bit low. He should it could easily be a little bit higher. Like you said, at a minimum, switch places with Chris McCaffrey, right? But that's RB5, and then you run out of, our, you know, a couple more running backs go away. It's like, all right, well, where's, where's Bucky Irvin? You know, like it doesn't take up still a good value. Doesn't take long to be looking for Bucky Irvin these days. Like mm-hmm. that, I mean, I know it just happened last week. It just happened two days ago. It just happened yesterday, Sunday. But like you said, just a, a young running back in a good system that can catch the ball. This is value, baby. On the way up, screaming. I'm probably taking Lad, but that's. My point of that was I I I, I don't know I hundred percent lad sitting here that says wide receiver twenty six mm-hmm. at 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 pick six three lads the wide receiver twenty six down here at pick six twelve Bucky is RB seventeen but there's a handful of running backs in there that are shaky above him and half of them are right there in front of him mm-hmm. you know RB twelve is five picks in front of him right there you know so it's like they're all up there all right last question what you got Chase Brown what's the so the max max or mid same same kind of deal with Bucky Irving is it the fir- end of the first get it get him off your team for you you, you trading him for a first or are you hanging on it had to be a mid first to trade him away but Chase Brown needs to come up this list he needs to go right up there right behind Bucky Irving mm-hmm. you know that's why it's the last question yep if I'm chi- what, if what, I'm so t- what what gets Chase Brown off your team oh if I'm title hunting this year not much. Because I mean, he's part of the package. He's part. If I'm title hunting, he's probably part of the reason why. Mm-hmm. And if I'm really title hunting, he's going to be the, one of the reasons why I win it. So I'm not really trying to trade him. So you got to really buy him from me. It's not. You know, there's probably plenty of decent players on my team that I'm like, oh, you know, I'll still sell them if you want to. Chase Brown's not one of them. That I, you know, I'm auction not. rookie draft. Would you sell him for a first? <laughs> auction best way to do your rookie draft, or at least a startup for sure. But maybe you like the rookie draft auction. I like it. Love the rookie draft. Auction. The rookie auction is the way to go. Yeah. It's yeah it's way sick. more work for the commissioner. <laughs> way more work for the commissioner, but it's so sick. Uh, mul- absolutely multiplies uh, draft pick values. So Exponential. First first rounder for Chase if it was an auction rookie? A first rounder for Chase? Like you would sell him off your team? Yeah. Obviously circumstantial probably, yeah. but all right. Good to know. Good enough. You got an offer in your inbox? <laughs> you about to sell them? Just ship them over to me. I could you sure give us a couple back. miles. We'll take I, a I can use a couple miles. My team's getting hurt in a hurry, and I'm send it over, Bo. Sitting up there. Need them first. Mm-hmm. Need them first. See at the auction rookie draft. If you can stockpile, uh, you know, three firsts is, is worth so much in the auction rookie, especially if there's teams that are getting depleted with with picks and yeah. the, you know the pool's a little lower. A lot of fun over there. So, all right, let's wrap this up. We're uh, going to switch over. We're going to talk about some buy lows here for 20 minutes on another show. So make sure you go hop over and join that discussion. We're going to be using the same draft and just seeing uh, which, which guys here, you know, may or may not be good deals at the moment at their current value in these two drafts that we just averaged together over the last two weeks. So pretty up-to-date values here. Be sure to check us out uh, on the Patreon. You get an extra episode every week. Uh, you get the Discord. You're going to get access to ADP and all these mocks that we're doing. First come, first serve. 
Uh, we've got a lot of fun stuff going on over there, and there's a free Discord as well, so check that out. But five dollar holler, five stars. If so please, and five stars is tap that five star must. button on the podcast, y'all. Hit me with it. Hit me. All right, we'll catch you next time. Peace. Get down.